Alrighty, hey PoE, this will be a quick and dirty rundown on what I know so far about uh, material testing on Fusion 360. So um, I used this little video I found um, here to help me out. Uh, there's going to be a link to it in the assignment 2.3.2. Uh, um, but yeah, you could just you know Google this, set up a stress, a static stress analysis, and find this page uh, on Fusion 360. Uh, let's so let's see what it is. Um, basically, yeah, you know, we're trying to simulate material testing um, since we really wouldn't be able to do it with the stuff I have at school anyway, even. Um, eh, we could kind of do it, but. Um, all right, so um, what I'm going to do is just, um, I want to compare like three different metals, right? So I'll start with aluminum. And um, what I'll do is compare uh, three rods that are the same diameter, um, essentially. So let's go to create, and we're going to make a cylinder. Um, and of course, you'll see that I'm saving this in a, a folder I'm calling PoE. All right, so you can be doing that too. So I'm going to choose this uh, plane. That's the ZX plane or XZ plane. Um, and yeah, sure, this can be my center point. Um, I want it to be one inch perfect. And next, so I just hit enter. Might be having a little bit of trouble. Nope, did not hear me hit enter apparently. Uh, so next, I'm going to just put 10 inches for the height. Hit OK. All right, perfect. So I've got the rod. And I'm going to keep this rod shape consistent for all of them. Um, now what I can do here is uh, go to Modify, Change Materials, or yeah, let's see, Physical Material. And um, they have a huge library of materials you can use. Metal, I already have open because I was working with it earlier. So yeah, you'll go to Metal. And let's compare uh, for this project aluminum, um, how about the first hit for the steel? So you can see there's a lot of different types of aluminum. Um, you know, they're trying to reflect what's actually available in the industry, right? Um, so we'll say they got iron in there, which on the activity they have iron, but I want you to do steel, looking way down here, um, stainless steel. Sure, we can do stainless steel. And the other one they wanted was copper, okay, which I've already passed apparently. Um, let's see. So copper, all right, and just do that first copper. All right, but we're gonna do this first one is aluminum. All right, first hit. And um, one way to make sure that it changes, I mean, that just me clicking it might have been enough, but um, and it says in the design, uh, it says it's steel right now, actually. So um, how about I drag this onto my rod and that'll change it into aluminum, okay? Um, so uh, we can minimize this. In fact, we are like done with this. So hit click, click close. And um, to check our material properties, if you just want to double check that it actually is um, aluminum, um, you can go to bodies, right click on body one, and do properties, okay? And it's gonna tell us that it is made of aluminum. All right, so perfect. And we can compare like those densities and stuff too if we, if we wanted to. You don't necessarily need to for this project. Um, okay, so here's the fun part, running the simulation, all right? Um, so I said this would be quick and dirty. Um, it's probably not super quick uh, already, but um, hopefully I can get this simulation to work. What we want to do is we have our thing here. We're gonna go change this from a design to a simulation. And um, we wanna do a static stress test. Okay, so it's this first one. Uh, click create study. All right, and um, yeah, you can see I've got some done already, um, but uh, let, let me just flip around here. Um, one of the things I'll need to do, well, we can look through a few things here. Um, the study is, I think that's fine. Let me just double check what's going on here. That's fine. Uh, simplify, um, we don't need to do that. We have a, sen a single part, um, so that's pretty simple. Study materials, yeah, we've got, we've already changed the material to what we want it to be. Structural constraints, okay, we do need to set some of these, all right? So I'm gonna click here, and I'm gonna flip around, and I'm actually gonna um, select this face right here, and now you see there's this upside down, like, um, lock on it. That means it is constrained, okay? So I'm just gonna say, um, I could actually pick the axis too, but um, I'm just gonna say okay, because for what we're doing, I know that this is gonna work, all right? Uh, so let's bring it back to the view we had. All right, so you can see there, that's still locked. Um, now we're just gonna apply a load, okay? And I think we don't need this because we have a single part. I'm just kind of looking through what we have here. Uh, Pre-check, we'll have to do that before we get going, settings. Ooh, results. Maybe that would give us those graphs I was uh, wondering about. But let's uh, let's go to load, okay? 
and we're going to click right on here and I'm going to reverse the direction. Okay. Cause I'm doing a tensile test, not a compression test. Um, and um, we're going to change this to pound force just cause I want to, and I'm going to say 3000 pounds for this first thing. Okay. So how, like what's going to happen to the steel if I put 3000 pounds on a one inch thick um, cylinder that's 10 inches long of steel. So say, okay. All right. And, um, we're not done. So we actually haven't run the simulation yet. Uh, what's cool is we can compare with another, we can make another study and compare it. Um, so I suppose we could run all these at the same time. Let's see about that. Um, so go to study one and clone study. And I think this way we can just run them all in the same place. All right. So we're going to change the material here. Edit. Uh, let's see here if I can do this. Material library, uh, Fusion 360. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's let's try this. Doing this another way. Let's go to, oh yeah, materials. And um, study materials. Hmm. -hmm. Uh, let me pause here briefly, see if I can figure this out. I think I did find it. Um, you just go to materials, study materials, and then you're going to do this uh, little pencil here on override, and you can see I changed it to copper. All right, so I'm scrolling through, and I found copper, um, and so, yeah, I changed this to copper. All right, um, and so, um, yeah, let's make sure we got the same load on here. We probably do, since we set that before we simulate, uh, we cloned. Um, so... Uh, next thing to do is just make sure that it's ready to go. Pre-check says it's good. Okay, since this is really simple, it's a single bar, uh, it doesn't have much to check, right? Now, if we have multiple interlocking components um, of different material types and we're putting stresses in different directions, like including gravity and everything, you can imagine this is going to get really complex, or it could. Um, but uh, this is, you know, just all we need for now. So we're going to go to simulation, um, I believe. Let's try this. Nope, that is not it. Um, so we'll need to run the simulation. Uh, let me check real quick about how we do that again. To run the simulation, sorry, I paused there, back with you. Um, you go to solve and then just click on solve, all right? Um, what's cool is as long as you're connected to the internet, um, you can run both of these simultaneously in the cloud. Um, and as far as I understand, um, as an educational license, we have unlimited credits, okay? Uh, this is one of the ways I, suppose that Autodesk makes their money um, is for firms, uh, non-educational uses, um, they charge they charge money for running these kind of simulations. But um, I believe that we are uh, unlimited in our capacities for that. All right. So uh, I'm going to click solve two studies. Um, and it's, you know, we give it a name. So this is going to be my aluminum, um, copper. This is 2.3 points two. Um, and so I'm going to click save. And uh, it's going to take it a little bit to perform this simulation. Um, so, and this is even for just two, you know, simple materials. Um, you can imagine with the more complex things, it could take a, a longer amount of time. So let me pause. Okay, so it finished up. And um, what I can do is, um, yeah, view the results. Um, so to do that, uh, we're, I'm going to just redo this. And um, this shows me for... Um, this is study one. Okay, so this is the steel um, that we are in a huge level of safety factor. Okay, so essentially it's saying, hey, this steel, it actually could run um, at like eight times this, this level. Uh, easily withstands the applied load of 3,000 pounds. All right, but what we can do is do this comparison. Um, so I go to compare, and it's going to do a split screen. Um, you might think it's comparing right now. It's not. Double check the bottom and see it gives you an option of what you want to compare. So I'm going to put study two and ooh, copper isn't quite doing so hot with the 3000 pounds. So um, as you can see, it's in this yellow zone. Um, it is barely um, kind of beyond what we call the safety factor. All right. Um, and we, it says your design marginally withstands the applied loads. Okay. For the same amount of weight uh, or force, 3000 pound force. Um, Copper is not quite as safe as using steel, right? Um, in the, on the other hand, with steel, like this is way too much. This is kind of expensive uh, to use that much steel for the load. So this is uh, how you can use some of these results, right? 
Um, anyway, this is what I wanted to show you. Um, if you figure out other ways to uh, analyze your results, I would love to see that and have you guys tell me about that. Uh, we can look at other things on here, like uh, we can look at stress, all right, like where the stress is occurring. Uh, it's not so interesting with just a simple cylinder, but um, yeah, that's something you can look at. You can look at the displacement, how, where that's occurring, right? It doesn't stretch very much down here, but the further away you get is where the stretch starts to happen, right? Um, but I hope that you enjoy this. Uh, play around with it, and uh, let me know what you find out. All right, enjoy.